Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Tons of new LEGO set images for summer 2022 have come out since last night, so I'm kicking things off with some new city sets. We do have the reveal of the next train, but first I want to talk about the new stunt bikes. This is the cruiser stunt bike, don't really care about it. I like the gimmick with these that you can like pull them back, but I mean most of them just aren't that special. The scorpion stunt bike, again the only thing I'm interested here in here is like the helmet, but the bike itself is really boring. What I do love is the bathtub stunt bike. I think that this one is really, really clever because there's just awesome new pieces here. Like, I really, really like this bathtub piece, and I know that it's made as a motorcycle fairing, but I would love to see, like, an actual molded bathtub piece like this from LEGO someday, um, just for minifigures to sit in. Then we already saw the freight train set, that's $180, but we do have images of the new passenger bullet train, 764 pieces for $150. That's not great, but as you can see, LEGO is including, of course, the powered up motors, but they also include lights. That's a really nice touch. I'm very excited for that because I don't think the last passenger train included lights. I think you have to buy them separately. And I do really like the look of this. It reminds me of the Horizon Express from, I think it was like 2013 or 2014. Um, and I think that the green and yellow, or sorry, the green and white, not yellow, color scheme, it wouldn't have been my first choice, but I think that it looks, it looks pretty clean. Like, again, it's not my favorite, but I don't think it looks bad necessarily. I also really like the cockpit piece that they're using here because that's something that you usually see on helicopters. And I do like specially molded train front pieces, um, like in the passenger train I have in my city, the one from like 2018, I think. Um, but I also like it when it's built up. And I think that the nose of this train is built up very, very nicely. I also really like the passenger cabs on this one. Um, maybe I can go to some other images so that we aren't just staring at the same one. But I like that how they have doors on the outside because that's something that's usually missing from these LEGO passenger trains. I also think the platform looks really cool. Um, the addition of the tree is just a really nice touch. There is another wheelchair in this set. And I really like this girl with the pink ponytail. She also has a cool torso. So I don't know. I don't really want this set because I did just buy a train. But for $150, I think that this is a pretty good deal, I must say. Obviously, like, $120 or 130 would be, like, perfect, but yeah. I think the only thing I don't really like about this build is how flat and boxy the cars are. Like, yes, train cars are boxy, but I just don't really love this, like, endless expanse of studs. Like, I wish that there were at least, like, tiles running down the middle of it or something, because it just looks really boring. But I mean, that's pretty much my only problem with this set, so I would say that that's a slam dunk in my book. Then we have the Chimpanzee Stunt Loop. This is $55. I'm not really into these city stunts sets, but I think that this loop build looks really cool. Again, they don't really feel like Lego pieces to me. Like, this looks like something you would see from Connects or obviously, like, Hot Wheels. Um, but I would be interested not in buying them, maybe, but just, like, in reviews. I'd like to see how those work, like, how much flex they have. And I do like the stunts ramps. I think that those are pretty decent. And, I mean, the Chimpanzee build looks fine but again i just like i don't really care that much and i think that these sets are terrible value for money like this thing for 55 dollars, no this is like a 40 dollars set at best then there's the stunt show double loop for 140 dollars with what was it 600 pieces yes 598 pieces for 140 dollars that's a terrible price per part ratio and to be fair you do have the large loops but yeah, no, this is not a $130 set. This is like an $80 or $90 set, like max. Maybe $100 max, and that would still be very overpriced. I do really like the snake, like, head off to the left here. It reminds me of old Ninjago builds from 2012. The truck looks decent. I do like seeing these large wheels integrated in such, like, a small build. And I like this new helmet. Yeah, I think that that's cool. Makari's hairpiece in dark brown. That's nice to see. Um, and I think that this fire, like, vinyl piece is interesting, because I'm guessing you just kind of, like, burst through it. Um, but yeah, I'm not really the target audience for these stunt sets. There's also the obstacle stunt challenge for $20. Um, again, pretty normal stuff. Like, I like these blade pieces in general. But yeah, at least this one. I don't think this one's overpriced. I think $20 is pretty good. And that minifigure is kind of decent. I like the purple armor on him. And I like the color of his bike, so... Yeah, honestly, if I was going to buy a stunt set, it would be that one. Then there's the Knockdown Stunt Challenge. I like this one because it comes with cakes. This is also $20, so I guess this is like the affordable price um, for these sets. I do like this helmet mold. It's very interesting. Um, I think that these are new pieces that you just stick into like 
hollow studs. So that's kind of cool. Um, and like I said, I do like the cakes and getting like these star pieces from the Lego Movie 2 in a new color. I can't tell if those are glow in the dark or if they're supposed to be like a really pale green. But yeah, and then there's this stunt set. There's a lot of these. Sorry, I didn't realize there were so many stunt sets. But this is another $20 shark attack stunt challenge. And this one's cool because I really like how it's got like this whipping around shark thing. Reminds me of those like pirate ship rides at amusement parks. And this one I think has a lot more character than even the last two that we saw because of the sharks, which are, oh, they're unprinted. It's kind of interesting. I thought like I would have just printed them. Uh, but I mean, just like the palm fronds, the treasure, the ship's wheel, the skeleton, I think that it adds a lot of character to this set that a lot of the other ones just don't have. And then, yeah, I think that's it. The rest of these are just the city farm sets that we recently saw. Oh, I forgot. There is the new supermarket, 404 pieces for $60. I love this set. This is going to be an instant buy from me. 60 is way too expensive. This should be 50 max. Like, this should be 40 but because it has a road plate, like, fine. I get that, like, they could make it 50 but $60 is just a big fat no from me. I like the forklift. I like the car. But what I really like are, A, the new shopping cart mold. Kind of juniorized. Again, doesn't really feel like Lego at all, but, um, but I like that piece. And then there's also a new prosthetic leg attachment. And I really like this one because this is almost like those running blades to me that like athletes use in the Special Olympics. And so I think that that's just a really cool piece. And I love how it's kind of like the same hip as a regular Lego minifigure, but then it turns into that like prosthetic foot. So I think that that's a really awesome piece. It's always great to see Lego representing like more people with disabilities in sets. I also really like the Peapod Girl being in this set, um, and so I just, I think that this set is really awesome. Oh, and it also has the new corn piece. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorite city sets for summer 2022. And I'm sorry, I, I forgot how many sets were revealed today. There's also Animal Rescue Missions, which is from like the new city missions theme. I don't really know anything about this. It seems like they're trying to emphasize more creativity in play by including all these different extra pieces and telling you to go to the app. That's cool, but I mean, I just don't really care. Like, the things that excite me most in this set are the owl, that hair mold. That's really awesome, because I'm pretty sure that's the Harry Potter Patronus mold, except now in a physical, like, in an actual color, not in transparent blue. Baby alligator is nice. That's the same one from the Marvel CMF, I think. And Monica Rambeau's hair from the Marvel CMF. And that's a baby cat. So, honestly, pretty good animals in here. If I found this on sale, maybe I would buy it. This is the Space Mission set. I think that the main build here doesn't look that great. But again, a bunch of extra parts, that's cool. Although I would have really liked to see like some of the new Geode pieces that are in the um, March space sets. Sorry, March city space sets in here. And then I think there's one more mission set, Water Police Detective Mission. Um, I don't like the build here. I hate this new neon yellow color that LEGO's made, and I do think that this is the worst of the three mission sets. I just think it's really plain and boring, although that cockpit piece is kind of cool. And so I think now, yeah, now for real, those are the end of the city sets. So let me know what you guys think about these. Like I said, don't really care about missions. I love the supermarket. Um, don't care about stunts, but I think the passenger train looks pretty good. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I will see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.